him rise a couple times. And the... I'd sure like to see him rise again. I like to see a fish rising somewhat consistently yeah. because otherwise you don't even know he's there. He rolls there and the next time he might be up here. What's your best approach here? From behind, across, downstream? You know, it, There's another one it right doesn't here. seem to matter. Uh, there are two places I don't like to fish to them. Look. That's directly below them, so you're casting straight up over them, or directly above them and drifting the fly straight to them. It's better to have a little angle on them so that, and after that, I don't think it matters whether you're casting upstream or downstream. I notice right now you're getting your line out and you're yeah. keeping it away from uh, the fish. Right, and what I'm doing, I'm trying to remember just where he is and see the thing that's always gives me a, a little pessimism is I can see those spinners from here. Can yep. you see them over there? Yep, I sure And they're can. going over him and he's not really taking them. So I'm just going to kind of... There's another one down below. Yeah, I saw that fish. I'm just going to kind of just kind of... Now see he rose again. Now that's more what I like. Right. And what we'll try to do is get a shot on him and... Ooh, there's another one to his that's right. That's either another one or he's moved to there. So what we'll do, we're, we've got a little bit of a downstream cast and we'll drop the fly and just kind of feed it down Ooh. in there. See, now he's to the right even more. His uh, old head came out of the water that time. Right, now there, there he, is he is again. Our fly is in the neighborhood. It's a little bit to the left. It's just getting in the zone now so well, that was a beautiful around. cast you can't see do i'm just kind better. of feeding the line out and drifting that down till i know that it's below where he was which it is now we'll let the current straighten it out and last thing you want don't want to do is pick that fly up right there that's a mistake a lot of times i see people make too is they pick it up to cast right on top of the fish now here's another two fish rows. That's a little bit more of an angle. I'm going to go across more to this one. I notice his rod's going to go upstream. I'm going to take that rod and lay it upstream so he that gets was the line That was kind of reach in the line. It's right. been referred to as a reach cast, and now I'm kind of mending upstream. This, this water's deceiving because you'd think it's like a lake, but notice there's a pretty decent yep. current here. I've got to be casting this into the wind too, and that's making it a little yep. tougher. But you know, it's self-defeating. If you use a heavier line to cast into the wind, it's more it's going to affect the water when it lands. What we generally do with this wind, the wind's right in my face, and if I make just a, a normal cast where the casting plane is parallel to the water, the wind's going to blow that back in my face. So what I do is I tilt the cast a little bit forward so that the forward cast is lower to the water. A little bit like this. I throw the back cast higher and the forward cast lower. And then I can drive it into the wind a little better. And you're pulling down on the butt of that uh, rod so that the rod's action is lower in the rod, isn't it? Yeah, and I see there's this fish I've been seeing that's a little better is over there. Notice how the casting lesson stops when there's a fish rising? Yeah. What can the rise tell us, though, about what they're taking? Well, I think uh, if the surface is covered with these little trichos. So I think if he was taking those, he'd be up just rising real consistent. So I'd say we'd eliminate that. He's, I still think he's looking for these bigger flies which I see occasionally, and his, uh, his rise form is a little more aggressive, like he's, whatever he's taking, he likes. Right. Now, I'm a, from where he was that time, I was about a foot short. Well, he's really going at it now. And but wouldn't you think there's maybe more than one fish there? There's two fish. One's a little guy. That's what I thought. And one's that better fish. And I was that time just slightly 
too long on the cast. See, he's moving back and forth and he's in a little closer. Very good. Well, that was a take on a little fish. But we'll try this. This is a short cast again. See, and the other thing, Jack, is he could be, you've got that spent fly, and he could be looking at that more, something that's flatter yep. in the water. Now, is that, ooh, right there. I saw that. I always call that giving you the fin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just pulled it away from the little fish. Well, you were talking to me, that's why you missed him. 